Hello and welcome back to the Frank Olson Twins YouTube channel. Today I'm finishing up part two of my Wood RCA 44 microphone build video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to see more about how this ribbon motor is made, don't forget to check out part one of this two-part video series. The narration in the video is recorded using this finished microphone. This project starts by designing all the parts in Photoshop and cutting them out with a vinyl plotter. For most of these parts, I'm using two-ply walnut veneer, which is half a millimeter thick. The grill is cut and all of the scraps are weeded from the final part. This was one of the most time-consuming parts of the entire project, as weeding out every circle of the grill was quite painstaking, making sure that the grill didn't split. I don't think this would be possible with a single-ply walnut. Next, I made the body housing for the mic. This is basically a small bent wood box created by wrapping veneer around the top and bottom of the box. I left a hole for the microphone cable to exit the bottom. The veneer is gently smoothed against a hot iron to steam the curves into the box. The cloth is glued to the grills by gluing one side of the veneer and allowing it to dry. The cloth is draped over and ironed on with steam to reactivate the glue. Now the grills are steamed into shape. I also made the grill banding by gently steaming the curves into the veneer strips. The final size is cut by eye for an accurate fit.
The band is glued into place along the center line of the sides of the box. After the grill is trimmed, it's glued into place. Wood mounts are glued into the body of the microphone. The base of the microphone is made primarily of one ply veneer. Most sections are glued together to make a stronger ply part. I used X bracing to make the stand rigid. Since the big curve on the back of the stand is very wide, it doesn't require steam bending. The top sections, which will bend down over the front lip, will require steam bending as part of the final glue up. I also made a yoke system out of two ply veneers. These knobs are made of single ply veneer. For final assembly, I screwed the yoke system onto the base. Now it's time to install the working electronics of the microphone, also known as the ribbon motor. If you're interested in making your own working ribbon motor, be sure to take a look at part one of this video series. That's what I'm installing here. First, I solder on the cable. The motor is mounted with four small rubber bands, which will isolate it from shock and rumble. The cover grill is attached and now it has mounting screws for the yoke. Now the mic can be assembled to the base. The only thing missing is a small replica wood logo. As I mentioned, I did the narration using this microphone, and I thought it might be nice to describe the setup I used without any music. This is a simple 4-channel mic preamp and mixer. My mic is plugged into the channel 1 preamp. The output goes to the line end of my recorder. The gain is set to 60 dB. I have about a 3 decibel treble boost to make up for a dark sounding transformer. Both levels are set to unity gain. 
I'm averaging about 0 dBU output on the mixer meters. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this build as much as I have. If you like this video and would like to support this channel, please subscribe and hit the like button. Have you made your own microphone? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.